right uh, this is another spear fishing episode so right now we are about to head out to spear fishing and this type of spear fishing is called O in my language so the definition of O is where you find a spot where you know that fish loves to cross their paths when the Sun is going down so when you find these spots they're very comfortable uh, these spots are just full of fish activity a lot of fish activity you find so always when you find that very certain spot that you like that you know that fish are crossing uh, when the Sun is going down so you find that spot and you stay in that spot for up until the Sun sets so that could take up to two hours three hours so within those two and three hours man you will catch a lot of fish so this is the type of uh, spear fishing that I love because it doesn't really requires you to go deep but it does require you to stay stay down for a long and uh, that you don't really use much of your energy because you just stay in one spot well the, I guess the con is that you, you get bored and not all dives that you will do you will catch fish but the, the frequent dive that you do in that very same spot it, it does attract fish so right now we're heading out we're heading out to the Perry Reef and one of our spot is right at the Perry Reef so these islands that you're looking at that's Langar, Sapuchik and on my right you can see that is Param so right now we're going straight up alright so this is my first dive I'm about to blunge in so I'm getting ready so making my way down so you can see this is a shallow this type of uh, spear fishing is very shallow and I love this uh, oh I love oh but I don't go all the time because there are certain times that uh, it's best for O and other times it's best that you go to the deeper sites so today I am taking the shallow parts today so right now so one of the one of the things that you have to do is find a good hiding spot so see I just shot my first fish on my first dive so I hit behind that coral so the fish you can see that shark is very hungry as well so right now I'm trying to reel in the fish so this type of fish is my favorite fish it's we call it karkar so this there are two types of karkar so this is the karle the other one is karchagai it's sort of black it has a dark color but this one is my favorite it tends to have more 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 meat and very just very good for, for food you know so first dive first fish and that's my second spear gun getting ready so this is how I kill the fish right now so That's my partner. Okay, so my partner right here, his name is Prenson. He just came from Guam. He's a professional spear fisherman as well. So what he's doing right now is trying to catch a catch an octopus. So he did catch it. He did catch it. So so he's really trying his best to take it out. So you know, tickle it, and then. The octopus will jump out, try to escape, but well, let them have their time. So right now I'm just you know breathing, getting my breath back before I plunge in, before I go down again. So yeah, let the octopus come out. Alright, so this is my second time going down. As you can see, I'm using my other spear gun. 
also making my way down so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hide behind this rock because when you hide you have a you find a good hiding spot fish tend to be curious they, they really come close and try to check out what is that and then when they're checking you out it's you know it's an open window it's an open opportunity for you to take the shot so right now I'm just waiting you know I, I really uh, part of my strategy I don't waste time if I don't see fish that I want or good size fish I don't waste my breath holding it down there so as you can see I'm just I'm trying to find I'm trying to attract fish but there's there's not any good size so I had to go up again so you guys as you can see my partner already cut the octopus the octopus is out of its cave and let me see let me see let's see what he's doing all right so he's killing the octopus man these are one of my favorite, you know, favorite thing, seafood. All right, so this is another dive that I did. It's not a waiting time, so. See, as you can see, it's the same spot that I'm taking. I'm not changing my spots. It's the same spot. You just, that's, that's the, oh, that's it. Oh, strategy. You go down, you wait for the fish to cross your path, the fish to come. So, as you can see, I apologize for the camera. So, you can see, I'm trying to attract them, and then boom. So, this is the other type of karka. So, this is the karjara. It's a bit darker than the first one I got, but they're very good. They're very good. I love them. You can do all kinds of uh, recipes, all kinds of cooking. You name it from frying to grilling to sashimi, even baking. Man, all the time. So these fish, they're very good. So this is the karchagai. And why we call it karchagai? Because they, they stay on the rocks. And chakai means rock. So this is one of the reasons why it's called Karchakai. They're always within the rocks, you know, hiding in the rocks. And they come out when it's time for food or time for feeding. So what you see right now is um Yep, this is how I uh, maybe you have a different way to do it, but this is how I do it with the line sort of threading okay so my partner just caught another octopus so right now he's trying to kill the octopus so right now we've or he caught he has he he already got two and he's just showing me the teats and that's where the teats are under the tendons So this is how you kill it folks. Not necessarily yeah. So what he what he's trying to do is he's trying to kill it by taking out the uh, he's working the octopus's head. So there he's trying to bring out the inside to the outside. That way it's killed. So this is Prinzen Uziel, he's from Mechup, he's also my relative and it's always good to have him in the waters, uh, he's also he's a competitor, spear fisherman in Guam as well, he came in second one time I remember, so as you can see he's really geared up, wearing all those fancy suits with the tinted masks. I mean, with tinted mask and uh, all these, yeah, advanced spear vision cures we came with. Alright, so this is another dive I did. This is a 
As you can see, it's getting darker now because it's the same spot. And as I said, you just wait. So the fish, man. So right now I'm taking another dive. Alright, so right now I'm still hiding behind the rock. That's a good strategy. Find a good hiding spot. So I'm trying to attract these fish. So what you're looking I, I apologize for the camera because the way I mount it is sort of bad. I it's it's a first time for me to mount these things, so I'm not really good in the first rounds, but I will work on the second rounds. So right now you can see those fish, they're slowly coming up. I'm trying to attract these unicorns because they're one of my favorite fish. So I'm waiting for them to come close. And it's really good to have a you know, good, very uh, strong holding on the water. It benefits these types of uh, spirit fishing. So right now I'm... I'm really calling on the I saw Chandra Valley and I'm calling it and then take my shot so this Chandra Valley took the route across my path and I took the opportunity to stabilize him so this is a good sized Trevally it's a Chandra Valley but there are bigger ones, so this is just one of the many giant valleys I've got. And it's a good experience when you can really catch these monsters. They're very strong, though. So if you don't know what you're doing, it's very dangerous. They can drown you, but like over time, with experience, you just it becomes a, it becomes second nature to you like there's no fear you catch it with confidence that everything's gonna be all right so yeah this is giant giant trophy man these things they are very good the meat wow you can do all kinds of uh, recipes to it as well Hmm. So my spear just bent. This monster just really bent at this strong spear. And I just got this brand new spear and this GD just really toy around with it and now I'm going back home and I have to fix it. I'll just straighten it out again. So that giant trevally, as I was waiting down there, I was waiting down there, I, I kind of saw its shadow, it was already going out in the deep, so what I did, I called on it, so when I called on it, it came like immediately running to me, so that noise that I did, that's how you call these giant trevallies, so when you see them, Call on them if you want to catch them. Call on them because they're very curious. They can really come close. <clears throat> so right now I'm trying to kill it. You know, really stabilize it. Uh -huh. And so it's already, it's almost there. It's almost there. It's still, still strong. So the the issue right now is my spear. You know, as a spear fisherman to all spear fishermen out there, always bring an extra gun. If I didn't bring an extra gun, the old day will be wasted. See, because now this thing gonna you gonna work with it now. You cannot spear with it. So fortunately, with experience over time, I. I learned that it's best to bring 
two guns because you never know when you will need the other one so I had my second gun so it's not a game over for me the show will still go on Alright, so we are trying to get this spear out and it's very stuck so I decided I told him you know what let's just leave it because we don't want to miss the opportunity for the other fish so you know one thing about oh you have to be very uh, quick when the fish starts to cross your bed you cannot be you know you cannot be just you cannot be taking your time you cannot be delaying you have to work fast quick so that we can catch as many as you can because the window opens up for just that certain amount of time that very short time so you have to be quick and try to catch so right now uh, this is one of uh, this is my last dive of the day as you can see it's all it's almost dark it's almost dark now so taking my last dive and um, settling so you can see all these you can see the fish activity all these different kinds of fish you got the parrots and you got all these other fish I don't know their names but in English but I only know in my language so uh, Mao, uh, Myanmar and Black, Blanken, all these good fish. Uh, so what I'm, I'm really waiting on the Mommay. So as you can see, the Mommay is they're closing in. So I'm just waiting, waiting for them to come close. So you gotta really, you gotta really learn how to wait, hold your breath. So I'm waiting, and there you go, boom! Took my shot. So this, this mommy, man, they're very good. This is one of my favorite fish. I mean, a lot of people like them because you can. You know, one of the favorite things uh, Bowmings love to do with this kind of fish is session and wow, it's very good when you do a session with this this guy, Bombay. So, so far this is what we've got and we're back on the dock. So this is our master fisherman, our chef curry on the move. So this is the catch of our day, uh, the one in the chest. And the one outside so we've got uh, good sized fish we've got a, a see within that three hour open window when you just wait and wait for the fish you'll catch a lot you don't have to spend a whole day you don't have to spend so that's why I love this oh so what I'm doing now is we wait we did a way waiting for this GT. It's just 32 pounds. It's a good size giant of alley. There are bigger ones. Yeah, so this is one of the yeah, but this is considered big as well. See. So this was the catch of our day, folks. 
And it's always fun to catch these cheaties. Yeah. Chip. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> 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 Now Ryan, Neil, this is new. Now. <laughs> <laughs> 